Okay, so another great way of getting clients as a web designer is to present yourself and your services in a totally different way than others. So what do I mean by that exactly? So if you look at their websites, they all have completely meaningless headings. For instance, web design and digital marketing company. Gee, thanks for stating the obvious here. Another one, we make really nice websites. Okay, sure, as opposed to what, really bad looking ones? Website development and SEO making it work for you. Affordable, fully responsive, professional website. And this one is probably the worst one of all. Web design and online solutions for any business. Now, here's the thing. Most web designers deal with small size businesses. So these are businesses with less than 50 employees because medium to large size companies usually hire big agencies, you know, to be honest. So that means that most web designers will deal with small, local, and oftentimes family-run businesses, right? Now, let me show you the right way to do it. Okay, so here we have a sample website. So most web designers would put a broad statement like this one here to reach out to as many people as possible. So web design and online solutions for everyone. Now, clearly this is too broad. What you need is to reach the heart of your visitors. You have to win them over and make them feel at home with you. And for this, honesty wins the game here. So here's what you can put here instead, a genuine, honest statement. Hi, I'm Katie. I design high converting websites for mom and pop shops in the Seattle area. Now with a heading like this, you will immediately win over any small business owner because you are being genuine, honest, and you are saying it like it is. You're not pretending to be some big shot agency. And then you can even add a subheading like this one here. I have solopreneurs, tradesmen, family run, and small local businesses gain more exposure with visually engaging websites. Okay, so step number two is to add actual pictures. So as a web designer, your website should never look too professional. I know this might sound counterintuitive, but what you want is to be perceived as someone who is approachable. And a good way to achieve that is by adding some real life pictures. So as you can see, most web designers would have a website like this, you know, a very clean looking website, nothing too much, eh, very professional looking indeed, you know, but that's not gonna work again. So let me show you the right way to do it. So whenever you add pictures of yourself, try to add real life pictures like this one here. We'll take a picture outside, go in the woods even for instance, you know, it doesn't have to be in the office. This way people can relate to you and then add real life pictures of people you've worked with. So for instance, you could have a heading like this, you know, I've worked with these fantastic people or great people and they're thankful to have chosen my services too. And anyone visiting your website will clearly see that these are real life pictures. They're not perfect basically, you know, but you can see the people in the picture, you can see their premises, you can see them smiling, smiling so this is basically the best testimony you can have is to have actual pictures you know and as you can see they're not even the same ratio and this imperfection makes it actually perfect and then you put the name of the business you know the print works molly's cafe mix barber and the flower shop people can relate to this immediately they'll know oh yeah i know them these are local people i know them and here underneath you put their testimonials whatever they said about your services and here you can link that back to their website and finally, you need to make it very easy for your visitors to contact you and make them feel super happy to do so. Now, instead of the very corporate like, would you like to start a project with us, arrange your consultation, or let's work together, tell us more about your project and then a contact form. So instead of that, this is what you can do. So instead you could have a section like this one. So get in touch and underneath a picture of yourself on the phone. And right here you have a message like this one. Here's my phone number. You can WhatsApp me anytime to discuss your next project and then you add your phone number. So this way you're showing that you stay available, you're approachable, you're reachable anytime you want. And obviously to avoid people ringing you outside office hours, next to it you put this one here. I'm a mom with two kids, so please use this contact form outside office hours. And everyone will understand and remain polite and they won't ring you outside office hours. Why? Because you're showing that you are clearly available to anyone and they can ring you or WhatsApp you anytime they need you. Okay guys, so if you want to discover other tips on how to get clients as a web designer, I'll leave the playlist right here.